A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel. And this is the channeling session uh, called Why the Divine Masculine is Silent. And there are messages from his 3D selves and his 5D self in this channeling session. The biggest reason behind his silence is not anything to do with you. Or his decision of not communicating with you, ignoring your calls, again, is not personally you. Because those of you who are resonating with this channeling could also be in a state of being shell-shocked or uh, you've got some kind of a, uh, you know, like some kind of a panic attack also, some kind of a uh, point or an emotion where you... You don't know like what is the actual reason. So whatever insecurities you have within you, you are thinking that those could be the reasons that he is not talking to me. Because as I said, many of the divine masculines have not even given a reason. They just went missing. They just vanished. They just ghosted you or they just, they just, you know, acted in such a way that, that you cannot understand why would someone do this to you. From the 3D perspective, it is a breakup and it is also a sign that you should also step out of this dynamic. Like you should also not give your energy to it because the more you will give your energy to this, the more it will affect you. From your perspective, you will start seeing or you could start, you know, having uh, those signs that he is very happy without you and it's not, uh, you know, he's never coming back or things like that. In fact, you should not even think that, you know, someone can come back or go away just like that. One of the very important aspects of twin flame relationship is the DM and the DFs both go through dark night of the soul in this journey. And the Divine Masculine could also have gone into a dark night of the soul. Now, both of you experience dark night of the soul in a very different way. For him, the dark night of the soul is more like he will get rejected. He will get rejected. He is not uh, acknowledged. He is not being loved. Or the person in front of him is not a genuine lover or a genuine person. For the Divine Feminine, the Dark Knight of the Soul is different as compared to that. She feels more like she's getting abandoned, she's getting ignored. So, you you know, these feelings get very triggered when the Dark Knight of the Soul is there. And the best way is to observe the Dark Knight of the Soul the way it is. Observe all the feelings, observe the pain. But at that point in time, the best way to be is to be in solitude to be relaxed to let go to to you know to emote but not emote to each other when you come back again when you meet again then that is the right time to share and at that point in time the dm will share you know he himself will tell you that this happened and that happened and this is the reason why and you can ask him questions at that time because he's more open to answer those questions and at that point in time you can also sort of you know tell him that you should not have done this what if you do this again in future what is you know like in a in a conversational manner and you can also tell him that you know what you felt at that point in time what was your actual feeling uh, not that you have to put a stronger suit or you have to put a braver uh, face or you have to tell him that no I didn't even care about you you can tell him that yeah I did care about you but then you did not leave me uh, you know any other option but to move on from you because you were the one who wanted me to move on in many cases it has also happened that the divine masculine when he comes back he blames the divine feminine for not contacting him for not calling him for not pursuing him more or not you know uh, or he might even say that you know you completely forgot about me I never existed I, I spied on you I saw your lifestyle but there was no trace of me anywhere he might even say that so that is the time you can tell him that you know your behavior was such and if next time also you do this then I will not have any other option but to do my own things and forget about you because if you're going to block me or if you're going to ignore me or if you're going to you know not take my calls not take my messages and you know think that I don't love you or my love is not real instead of thinking that there could be any other reason make maybe you have some 
सम काइंड ऑफ फियर इन योर हार्ट मे बी यू हैव सम काइंड ऑफ यू नो चाइल्ड हुड रिलेटेड ट्रामा मे बी यू नो यू आर जस्ट मेकिंग थिंग्स अप मे बी यू हैड बैड एक्सपीरियंसेज एंड यू आर यू नो मेकिंग पुटिंग मी बेकिंग मी द पोस्टर इमेज ऑफ दैट विच इज नॉट ट्रू इन मेनी केसेज इट ऑल्सो हैज हैपन दैट द डिवाइन मैस्कल इन हैड really intense dark night of the soul before meeting the divine feminine so when divine feminine was in a toxic relationship or when she was with a narcissistic partner or when she was uh, in some kind of an affair which was uh, where she was fully committed you know fully committed it was a false twin or it was a long a very long relationship something like that at that time maybe he was going through a dark night of the soul and you may not even be aware about it or maybe he was going through relationships also while you were in a toxic relationship he could be also experiencing some of those type of relationships where he was used he was cheated or he was you know fooled or whatever it was so there there is been a lot of work that both of you have been doing uh, to you know come closer and closer and closer to you so when the dark night of the soul appears again while you both have already met or while you both were in communication you both were talking to each other at that time something triggers it something you say to him triggers it something he says to you triggers it in you and then there is a action and reaction and then it is action reaction more reaction you know it just never ends if, you know if you look at the word reaction it is reaction another action of one action okay and then there is over reaction <laughs> which is of course you know what i mean so so when you are in hermit phase or you are in no contact situation when he is not communicating at all that is the time when you are supposed to do your inner work and that is the time when you are not supposed to focus on him at all you are not supposed to think about him he has already ignored you that is more than enough for you to not pursue him physically or energetically because then a lot of divine feminines fall into the trap of stalking them checking their profiles landing to their workplace or you know pleading them doing a lot of things to get their attention sometimes in no contact also they are stalking you so they write uh, many status updates or they share images or pictures or messages which are directly uh you know about their feeling and they take it personally they think that oh she's writing to me or she's writing about me but actually she is writing to them and she is writing about them about what she's feeling but these are the things that you should totally avoid when he doesn't want to communicate with you then you should also not communicate with him or about him publicly you know or to him you should do your own thing you should focus on your own self because it's it could be his dark night of the soul but it may not be your dark night of the soul and healing also cannot happen my friends if you are uh, with each other like proper healing cannot happen even when you go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist or say a therapist like me or you go for a reading or you for go for a channeling or anything you don't go with your whole jing bang you don't go with the people around you you go alone technically you should go alone even a good therapist or a good healer would tell you that can you please be alone i do not want anyone else around you or with you because their energies can affect on you or their energies can uh you know uh, probably have an impact or some kind of interference in what you are thinking or what you want to do there are some people who are very dependent on their family members or their friends they cannot do anything without them so there are many such codependency issues also that both divine masculine and divine feminine have to heal on their own so that is the reason why the silence is created by the universe the 5d self is very mature they are very much in accordance to accordance to what is happening and they also contact the dfs in dream state there are such you know lucid dreams astral projections there are such dreams that look very very real and they act as a you know energy booster now in some cases it could be possible that after a week or 10 days or one month they will again message you or things like that but it would be better that you don't also communicate so much with them you let them speak you let them speak you let them do the talking if they say just one hi hi how are you i am good 
that should be enough because they they if you know if someone wants to really uh, talk or someone wants to share and discuss the energy is very different but in some cases they keep very minimum bare minimum contact like the divine masculine is like just trying to check on her is she still thinking about me because they want you to think about them they don't like it when you don't think about them they immediately find out when you don't think about them but then this should not be played as a game you know and they should also not always be so insecure when you are not thinking about them when you are thinking about them if you love them if you don't love them for them for the masculine also it is a journey where they have to heal themselves fully so that they are not scared of loving you in the way you deserve to be loved you can you know even if they have their own mission work even if they have their own things but then you know commitment should be uh, given due amount of respect if they do not do that then you should also not focus on them and this message is not just uh, you know given by the channeler but this message is being sent by the higher divine masculine collective on that note i'm going to end this channeling over here one love and peace out